Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning, you already were, before even time began. You are a Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you created man, became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, the Divine Word made flesh. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, the Divine Word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so may we live and love here after. Dear Jesus, Divine Word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with you, with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Monday, the first week of Lent. The Church celebrates today the memorial of St. Conrad of Fianza. Our Mass Presider today is Reverend Father Benigno Biltran, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, Monday, first week of Lent. Before we continue our celebration of the liturgy of the Word and the liturgy of the Eucharist, let us ask God to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross so that we can attain salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgave us through your blood that was shed in Calvary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength to obey your commandments. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Convert us, O God, our Savior, and instruct our minds by heavenly teaching, that we may 
benefit from the works of land to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal. You shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind. But you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow men justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. Though you may have to reprove him, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, and all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them from one another, as a shepherd separates 
the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right hand and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry, feed you, or thirsty, give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill, or in prison, and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. Stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your need? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you. What you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Let us pray for God's blessing, for the strength to do His will. Especially in the first reading, we obey His command. We do not steal. We, should do, we do not lie. We do not speak falsely to one another as the book of Leviticus enjoined the Israelites. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborers. That's the negative part. We need strength to obey His commands. Thou shalt not. The positive is in the gospel. Feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty. Thou shalt welcome the stranger. Thou shalt clothe the naked. Thou shalt care for the ill. Thou shalt visit those in prison. So many, they obey the negative part. They do not commit great sins. But the positive part, they seldom do. And so, we need good strategies so that we can obey. Obey! He is the Lord. When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the angels with Him. And then the King, Matthew 25, 31 to 46 in the Gospel today. The King, utos ng hari, hindi mababali. He commanded us to feed the hungry. So it's not enough to say the rosary and to attend mass. That's very important. But that's one half of the aura it labora. The labora is to feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, clothe the naked. And most of what we do are dole outs. We do feeding programs, solicit funds, and then feed the children. Then feed 25 of them and dami na dami na nating dinadump na pics sa Facebook. Look at it from the point of view of the whole nation. Not the whole world. We cannot save the problems of the whole world. How many kids are hungry compared to the 25 that you posted on Facebook? 
billions because 48.9% of Filipino families say they are, they are poor. Miss one meal a day or one meal a week. And then, the effect, the brains of the children of the poor are not connected in the right way because of lack of protein. And then, there will be the assessment, a global assessment of learning achievement among 15 years old. We are one of the last because we did not feed the hungry according to the Education Commission 2. Nakalagay ito. Nagugutom yung mga bata natin, hindi natututo sa school. Tapos nakikinig tayo, give food to the hungry. Tapos ang papakainin natin, 25, hingi-hingi tayo doon ng kung anak. So, the Office for the Integrity of Creation, Central Province, partnered with a lot of people, including the CICM missionaries. And we put up the E, the Laudato Si, in obedience to the Pope, Laudato Si E Trading Network. It has, it owns the Laudato Si e commerce platform using predictive analytics. What does it do? Farmers, I have already gone to Noiba Vizcaya, they will be trained how to use the platform. They will post their products, vegetables and fruits with the price. And then, I already have permission from the bishop, Catholics in the 47 parishes of the Diocese of Cubao will be invited to create an account in the Laudato Si e-commerce platform. Then they will see what the farmers in La Trinidad Valley and Nueva Vizcaya posted and then they will click in their shopping cart and then the total will be sent to the farmers. They will deliver it at the UP Food Hub. Binigyan tayo ng lugar doon where street people can repack. Then, it will be delivered to your homes. Para, hindi naman laging dole out. Kailangan. So, I would like you also to support the Feed Fast program of the diocese. Kasi hindi naman natin malutas ka agad yan sa isang gabi lang. Magpa-fast ka, tapos yung babayad mo sana sa may regrace o sa contis o kung saan-saan mga restaurant ka kumakain, bibigay mo sa diocese. Papakainin nila. Sampung libong mga bata. Ang laki na rin. Ang problema, baka limandaang libo yung kailangan pakainin. Eh. So, while we are doing that, as emergency, we will create, we will partner with thousands of farmers so that we will take out the middlemen. Sila yung yamayaman eh. Niloloko nila yung mga magsasaka. Kaya farmers are still impoverished. One of the poorest in the Philippines. So coming back to the gospel, I was hungry. You gave me food. You do not only give money so that the feeding programs will continue to serve the children. You join a large network as a program of the synodal church. Pag nagawa natin ito, na yung 3.5 million Catholics, 10% lang yan, sasali sa e-commerce platform, marami tayong mapapakain. So let us pray today for the Synodal Church. That Catholics, disciples of Christ, carrying their cross, will be able to obey God's commands. In Leviticus, you shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself, for I am the Lord. And in the gospel, the Lord said, I was hungry, and you gave me no food.
prayers of the faithful. Our Lord reveals the mystery of God's kingdom to people who extend their loving care to the poor and feed the hungry in obedience to the command of the Son of Man in the Gospel today. Let us pray that the kingdom of God may be made real among us, especially among the least, the lost, and the deprived. Let our response be, Lord, let us love and serve you in others. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. That the church may become a home for the lost, the stray, the weak, and the wounded. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. That rich nations may seriously undertake steps to help in the development of poorer nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. That through our practical generosity, the neglected and the rejected of our society may be drawn to the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. That we may spread the reign of the kingdom in our homes, workplaces, and in the community we belong. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. That the dead may enter the kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us love and serve you in others. Father, knowing your boundless love, especially for the poor, the deprived, and the oppressed, we confidently bring our intentions before you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing to Christ our Lord. Amen. We will pray special Eucharistic prayer number four. Jesus who went about doing good. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks father mercies and faithful god for you have given us jesus christ your son as our lord and redeemer king of the universe he always showed compassion for children and for the poor for the sick and for sinners and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted by word and deed he announced to the world that you are our father and that you care for all your sons and daughters and so with all the angels and saints we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim You are indeed holy to be glorified, Lord our God, because you love us and you always walk with us on the journey to the future. Blessed indeed is your Son, the Divine Word, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, and now for us, he opens scriptures and breaks the bread in the celebration of the most holy Eucharist. And therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine. That they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, gave you thanks, Father. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross, death, and resurrection, you have set us free. And therefore, most holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love till he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice. Of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, 
we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church to Lord, perfect faith and charity, together with Francis of Pope, Honesto of Bishop, with all bishops, priests and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort the hungry and the thirsty and the ill and the naked. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command in the gospel today. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope amidst the wounded world. Remember our loved ones, our relatives and friends who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is over that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Queen of Heaven and Earth, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with St. Arnold Johnson and St. Joseph Finadimets, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you to Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence, our Father in heaven, in the words Jesus, our Lord himself, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who commanded us to give food to the hungry, to give drink to the thirsty, so that we can enter into his kingdom. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience health in mind, body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please visit it for some announcement. The Divine Word Mission Seminary gladly announces the revival of the Creative and Performing Arts Guild, CIPAG, as the seminary celebrates its 90 years of existence and excellence. This time, on its 11th play, CIPAG is producing an original musical play entitled Theus Door, highlighting the life of Father Theodore Buttenbrook, SVD, CKMS founder. We are all invited to watch the play on February 24, Saturday at 7.30 p.m. here at the CKMS Gymnasium. Admission is free. Donations and financial support are highly encouraged and welcome. On all Fridays of Lent, let us meditate on the Fashion of Christ in the Station of the Cross at 5 p.m. This will be followed by the Holy Mass and Devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus at 6 p.m. We are also welcome to join the Our Father Lenten Weekend Retreat from Friday evening to Sunday noon on any of the following dates, February 23 to 25, March 1 to 3, March 8 to 10, March 15 to 17. For more information and, and registration, please email finnemanhall at gmail.com or call 0928-164-2278. Zero two two six, or check FB page Bishop Peniman Hall. Lastly, this Lenten season, let us fast and feed a child. Let us share our blessings to the growing numbers of malnourished children by supporting the Fast to Feed campaign. Fast to Feed envelopes are available for your donations. You may offer it during the Mass or submit it to the Shrine. Thank you very much. From Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We must ascend it, go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the Divine Word. Thanks be to God. <laughs>